Joe Kelly here from JJK Fitness. I'll be your coach today and Karen will be the model. Oh, God. Today this is your Metcon class. For this Metcon class you need a pair of dumbbells and a kettlebell and a little bit of space. We've got a warm up which we're going to go through now, then we're going to go through a ramp which is just to get the heart rate up and then we're going to go into our main workout. I'll always give option one and option two. Option one is for beginners, option two is for intermediate. To start with, your mobility phase, we're going to start. We're going to walk out into a plank position. We're going to work outside step and right. Okay, right hand goes high and back in. We're going to alternate sides. So one to the right side, one to the left side. Five on the right, five on the left. Second movement we're going to work on is that gorilla position. So seated in the squat position, grabbing the outside of the feet, raise that arm up, parallel with the shoulders and back in. Five on the right, five on the left. And then we're just going to work on five squats. You go five seconds down, Karen, five seconds down. So five, four, three, two, one, and powering up, okay? Right guys, we've got three rounds of that and then we're going to go into our heart rate round and then we're into our main workout. Okay, so we're going to do on 15 seconds before we start at home. Ready to go? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right, okay, so start with those outside steppers. Three, two, one, let's go. So walking out to plank position, hands narrow, outside stepper right, right hand up. So this is just your mobility phase, guys. You can take it nice and slow, okay? Get you guys a bit more mobile before we go into our main workout. Karen's up for the workout today, you guys. No. <laughs> Outside step the right, good. Five on the right side, five on the left side. You want to make it a little bit easier, bring them hands a bit more narrow, walk that hand in towards that foot and then come back in. Big steps out, raise the roof, Karen, all the way up, fingers hit tonight with the shoulders and back in. Second movement, into that silver back position, wide feet, grab the outside of the feet, right hand goes high, fingertips up, Back down, left foot goes high, left hand, sorry, back up. Fingers hit nice and high. Five on the right side, five on the left side. Once you've done your silver backs for five and five, you're just going to work on five air squats. Feet nice and wide in that squat start. Five, four, three. Two, one, pause, and then drive them back up. So five seconds down, one second up. Clickety click. click. Oh, we've got three rounds of this, guys. <laughs> so five seconds down, one second pause, one second up. All the way down, drive them from the heels. So five of those in total, yeah? Awesome. Nice, guys. Once you've done that, we're going to go into our second round. So you're back to those outside steppers. You can go a little bit quicker this round. So here we go, Karen. Let's go. Nice and dynamic now. So one second up, one second pause, one second reach. Five right, five left. If you guys want to play your own music at home, yeah? You're more than welcome to turn the music up. We always release the programming a week in advance, so we suggest when you're doing these workouts, you can even follow us, um, which is live, you can keep up with us. Uh, beginners and intermediate, if you want to go to your programming, have it on another device and you can push forward. Nice big steps, guys, good. Make sure that hands parallel with the shoulders, all the way up. Nice. Five right, five left. Once you've done that, you're going to come into that silver back position. Nice deep squat, bend the knees, fingertips high. Back in. So yeah, again, you can get a little bit of speed on this one now. So just alternate, grabbing the outside of the feet. Good work, Kaza. Five right, five left, and then we're going to go back to our air squats. <sighs> nice. So into those air squats. So five seconds down. Pause. Driving from the heels, okay, in that nice comfortable squat stance, make sure your feet are slightly turned out. Five seconds down, one second pause, one second up. Well done, Kaz, once you've done two rounds, we've got one more round.
Nice, that final round, we're gonna speed it up. Let's go, Kaz. So, outside stepper, bam, right hand goes back up. So you can start to really speed this set up. Final set on the mobility, five right, five left. Into that silver back position, five and five, followed by five air squats. Nice, flowing, Kaz, are flowing. Nice, big steps, outside, make sure that fingertips run nice and high, all the way out. Back in. And then five air squats. Let's go. Five breathers. Oh yes, five breathers. Yeah, five and five. Seated, sinking nice and low. Outside the feet. Just trying to run that hand parallel with that shoulders all the way up, all the way down. Oh dear. Nice, Cad. Yeah, good work. Well done. Well done. Good on those outside step. Good. Bam. Reaching up. And then watch our five and five in to those air squats. Let's go. It's a dumbbell, yeah? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's not so. Nice, good work, well done. Good guys, that's your three rounds of mobility, well done. Right, so today's workout, we have three blocks, they have nine minutes on each one, followed by a 90 second break, okay? We always gonna give two options, beginners and intermediates. So beginners, you must buy in with 20 fast burpees. Palms flat, jump in, stand up, clap at the top. So 20 fast burpees for beginners, intermediate, you just go chest to floor, jump in, clap at the top, okay? So. I let you guys uh, decide at home which one you want to do, either fast burpees for beginners or chest to floor for intermediate. So 20 reps. Once you've done that, you must get your dumbbells, grab your dumbbells. You have three movements, you're going to go 10 reps on each one and you go for three rounds. Okay, the first movement we're going to work on is your front rack squats, up to the top. Okay, into that squat start, two seconds down, one second up and back in. Your second movement for 10 reps is the deadlifts. So remain in the deadlift, running down the shin, neutral spine and back in. And then your last movement in the plank position. So hand shoulder width, feet nice and wide, carry bum down. You're gonna work on right row, up to the top, and then left row. Beginners, you can drop onto the knee. That's five right, five left. You have three rounds of that with the dumbbells. Okay, so 10 front squats, 10 deadlifts, 10 plank rows. Three rounds of that, when you've done three rounds of that, you must be 40, okay, fast burpees or 40 chest and floor burpees, you choose, okay? Your objective is to try and finish this workout in that nine minute time cap. If you finish and you've done the 40 reps, just do remainder of time, max burpees, okay? Right, you ready Kaz? Yeah. Right, option one, beginners, fast burpees. Intermediate, chest to floor, 23. Two, one, let's go. Jumping in, clap. Nice. 20 reps, guys, 20 reps. Jump in, clap. Nice. So, beginners, you go for fast burpees like what Karen's doing. Intermediate, you go chest to floor, okay? Standards on the burpees, chest hits the floor, lay down, clap at the top. Nice, well done, Karen. Once you've done your buy-in, your 20 burpees, you're gonna go into your dumbbells, three rounds of 10, it's 10 front squats, 10 deadlifts, 10 plank rows. Yes, Karen, well done. Karen wasn't up to this workout, but when she's finished, she's gonna feel amazing. It's the mindset, you've got to get in the right mentality, the right, the right move. Yes, Kaz, down and up, how many go? 17. 17, well done, no half reps in here. It's a nine minute time cap, good stuff. And you've done your 20 reps, you're gonna go straight into your dumbbells. So the dumbbells, you've got three rounds of 10. First one is your front squats, hold them in a nice comfortable position, feet nice and wide, drive the heels to the floor, down and up. So you've got 10 front squats, followed by a 10, remaining in deadlifts, and then you've got 10 plank rows, five right, five left. 
Three rounds of that, Kaza. Three rounds. Nice, Kaz. Guys, it's a nine minute time cap, so yeah, you just work at your own speed at home. You've got the program in there. You want to push forward, you push forward. Everyone's at a different fitness level, everyone's at different speeds, you've all got different weights, okay? Just work to the best ability that you can work to. Your biggest competition is yourself. Shoulders back, chest up here, dumbbells nice and tight, neutral spine. Roll the shoulder blades back in. So 10 front squats, 10 deadlifts, and then five and five on the plank rows. Well done. Three rounds. Nice, Kaza. Feeling good? Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> Once you've done them 10 deadlifts, you're into that plank row, high plank, hand shoulder whip, feet nice and wide, right row, come back in, left row, come back in. So you see how you keep the dumbbell shoulder whip, feet nice and wide, all the weight goes through the left hand, the right elbow comes up nice and high and back in. Just try to drive that elbow to the ceiling, driving the hips to the floor, well done Kaz. Elbow goes nice and high, five right, five left. You want to make sure that the driving the hips to the floor, Karen. Back stays flat. Elbow goes nice and high. All the way up, all the way down. Well done. Nice, Kaz. Good work. So that's one round for us. We've got two more rounds. Yeah, again, you guys can push forward at home. So 10 front squats, 10 deadlifts, 10 plank rows. We're going to try and get our three rounds and hopefully start our burpees, okay? Oh, I thought that was one for that. That's good. Right, here we go, second round, Kaz. Guys, we've got five minutes left, let's go. Final five minutes. So if you guys want to plug into some music, just, we've got a playlist, uh, we've got a few playlists actually on Spotify, so we've gone to Spotify, just search JDK Fitness and you'll find loads of different playlists in there, we've got spinning, we've got um, IB for classics, we've got hip training ones, Metcom, etc. So 10 front squats, coaching points here, feet nice and wide, drive the heels to the floor, once you've done that second movement into those deadlifts, shoulders back, chest up, Maintain that neutral and then drive them back up. Okay, really extend those hamstrings. Neutral spine, down and up. Make sure you're not curving the shoulders at the bottom, Karen. Make sure you keep a neutral spine back here. You've only got those middle of the shins, less bend on the knees. A little bit less bend on the knees, neutral, and then drive back up. Nice. So you've got four minutes left, guys. Final four minutes. Remember, when you've done your three rounds, guys, and the dumbbells, you need to start your buyout, which is your 40 burpees, either fast burpees or chest to floor burpees. Well done. Just try and get them hips a little bit still cap, Karen. Feet nice and wide, elbows go up, and back in. Nice. Oh. Drop into the knees if you're struggling. Elbows go up. Go do one, let's go. Mentality, Karen, like I said earlier, Karen wasn't up for this workout, but we're just gonna get it done. Grip the teeth, work on good form. Never sacrifice that form when you're working out with any bit of weight training equipment. Watch on that, Kaz. That is two rounds down. We've got one more round. Well done. Hopefully we're gonna start a few of our burpees. Right, so 10 front squats, 10 deadlifts, and then 10 leg rows. 
As you turn the feet out slightly, driving all your weight through your quads and your heels. Drive the heels to the earth. Down, two seconds down, one second pause, one second up. 10 front squats, 10 deadlifts, 10 plank rows. When you've done three rounds, okay, get straight into those burpees. You're buying out with 40 burpees, okay? Intermediate, can you push forward? Can you try and finish that set? Well done. If you're struggling with the weight, you can use a kettlebell, you can use a dumbbell, you can go for one, whatever works for you. Nice, Kaz. Ten, ten deadlifts into those plank rows. Nice. Make sure you're really extending those hamstrings, back nice and flat, and try it back in. Nice. Good. Into those plank rows. Guys, you've got 60 seconds at home. Let's go. Final 60 seconds. It's going back straight in five and five. If you finish your three rounds, you can start your burpees. It's 40 burpees on the buyout. Beginners, you go fast burpees. Intermediate, you go chest to floor burpees. Well done. We'll see if Karen can get to that like five reps or six reps on the burpees. Drive the elbows high, Karen. Okay. Neutral spine. If you're struggling, drop onto the knees. Alternate and back in. Right. We have 30 seconds, let's go guys. You get a break after this. Go! Uh -huh. Aim five reps, aim for five. Well done, we're aiming for five reps here. Guys, it doesn't matter where you get, this is individual work, this is built for anyone. Beginners, intermediate, even advanced. Anyone can do these workouts, okay? It doesn't matter where you get to. 10 seconds, you get one more Kaz. Give me the Nars, one more. <laughs> Nice, three, two, and one. Good, that is your nine minute Metcom block one. Well done. Good, right, okay, block two. We can slow it down a little bit on this one. This is more like your beast workout. So we've got low repetition, and we're going to heavy weights. So what we're gonna do, with the kettlebell and the dumbbell, your first movement is alternating dumbbell snatches. Tip of the dumbbell touches the floor. Right feet, and you drive it out. Four on the right side, four on the left side, okay? Your second movement with the kettlebell is your squat clean, okay? With this one here, we're working right feet, I'll show you, so your first one, dumbbell snatch is four and four. Second one, squat, clean up to the top, one squat, and then back in, that's one rep, and then you repeat that, a bit like that. So no overhead press, just a squat clean for eight. Final movement in the plank position is eight body weight man makers, right shoulder tap, Left shoulder tap, press up, <laughs> and back in, good. So your option one, beginners, you don't need to do a press up, there's right shoulder tap, left shoulder tap, jump in, clap at the top, intermediate, right shoulder, left shoulder, press up, jump in, come back in. That's one round. When you finish that one round, you're gonna go into a 30 second wall sit, okay? So feet shoulder width. So you drop into that wall sit position, you're gonna hold that for 30 seconds, after that, 30 second wall sit, you're gonna come into a 30 second high plank. We're gonna try and go for three rounds, guys, inside that nine minutes. If you finish three rounds, okay, you must buy out with fast burpees, max reps, okay? We won't get to that, you know. We're gonna go three rounds on the floor. After each round on the floor, 30 second wall sit, 30 second plank. If you've got a stopwatch, then you can time your wall sit and your plank. If you haven't, you can use our stopwatch. Right, here we go. Dumbbell snatch is four and four, nine minutes. Three, two, one. Let's go, Cass. So tip of the dumbbell touches the floor. You change it the shoulders and back in. If you find that your dumbbell is too heavy, you can go double-handed or you can use a lighter weight. Nice, Cass. Four on the right side, four on the left side. Well done. This one here, you get directly underneath it, you clean it to the chest first, up to the chest, you squat, don't 
Don't press. Stand up and then you flip that down. No press. Oh, no, no press. No press. Put that down. Good. So you clean up. Squat down. Put back in. Eight of those. Where's your phone? Oh, I don't know. Over there. On the fridge. Turn your side. Do your eight squat cleans followed by eight body weight man makers. Make sure those squat cleans, you're going from the floor, straight to the chest and back in. Then your body weight hand makers, you just move the kettle out of the way. In the high plank position, beginners just go right shoulder tap, left shoulder tap, jump in, stand up. You don't need to jump at the top, you stand up, back down, that's it. Intermediate, right shoulder, left shoulder, press up, stand up. Beginners, if you want to do a press up, you can do it on your knees. Right shoulder tap, left shoulder tap. Eight of those, once you have eight of those, you're into your 30 seconds wall sit hold, followed by your 30 second high plank. Make sure you've got a bit of a wall space for that one. I don't have any on there. Six. Six. That might be seven. Seven, good. One more. <coughs> now guys, that's one round there. So eight dumbbell snatches, four and four, eight squat cleans, eight body weight man makers. Into that 30 second wall set, feet nice and wide, drive the heels to the floor, sit nice and low, shoulders back, head back. 30 seconds, three, two, one, go. Just hold that there, no moving guys, okay? You can have your hands on your quads if you want, or you can cross them over. All your weight here should be driving from your heels, and you should be using your quads as much as possible. Not 15 second play. Try not to focus on the time. If you've got a stopwatch at home, you can time yourself, if not, just work off our clock. You should be able to hold your body weight for that 30 second period. Five seconds, four, three, two, one. Into high plank, easy for Karen, strong legs. High plank on the palms, let's go. Three, two, one, let's go. This one here, you drive the hips to the floor. Make sure your chest is directly over your hands, okay? And your feet, shoulder width, hand shoulder, that's a solid plank position, tabletop position. From top of the spine to bottom of the spine. <laughs> 15 seconds, inhale, exhale. Try not to think about that plank position, Karen. Just concentrate on engaging the right muscles. Quads, glutes, stomach. Three, two, one, well done. That is good work, that is one round. You guys can push forward if you want. I'm gonna give Karen a 15 second break. And we're back to our dumbbells. So this set here is more like the beast workouts that we do where we're doing low repetition, heavy weights. And our block one and block three today, Metcon, is a bit like our limit, a bit like our hit classes. High intensity stuff. Right, so second round, three, two, one, let's go. Dumbbell snatches, tip of the dumbbell, touch the floor, driving up and back in. Down, up. Straight line up, straight line down. Four on the right side, four on the left side. Then you're into your second movement, which is eight squat cleans. After that, you've got your eight man makers, which is body weight. Then you've got your 30 second wall set, 30 second plank. You can push forward now, if you want to. If not, you can stay with us. Beginners, you can work with us. Nice. Lots of red on the my zone. Well done, Kaz. See, we're here for a long time, not a short time. Drive the heel to the floor, down on that squat thing, direct up to the chest, elbows in, down, push it back up. Nice, Karen, good. Eight squat cleans, and then into those bodyweight man makers. Remember them bodyweight man makers, right shoulder tap, left shoulder tap, press up, hands go up. You don't have to do a press up, it's eight of those though, yeah? Well done, Cass. Nice, and then back down. If you've got enough space, guys, when we do this, right shoulder, left shoulder, jump in, and then arms go up at the top. Don't need to jump. 
If you want to make it a little bit harder, just add the press up. You can do press ups on the tiptoes, you can do press ups on the knees, whatever works for you. Right shoulder tap, left shoulder tap, jump in and back in. Nice, Kaz. One more here, and then we're going to go into our 30-second stationary wall sit, followed by high plank. Good stuff. Right, let's get in that wall sit position. So feet in normal squat stance, outside shoulder width, turn the heels in, bring the heels into the wall a little bit. Three, two, one, hold there, sink lower. So you don't want your feet to be too far away. You want to create a 90 degree angle, okay? You want your heels to be in towards the wall, feet slightly turned out current, like doing a squat. And then just concentrate on inhale, exhale, deep breaths. 15 seconds left on that one, guys. Easy work for Kaz. Yeah? We've got five seconds left. We're going to go into a high plank. Three, two, one. Into that high plank. 30 seconds. So we're going to go hand shoulder width, feet shoulder width, chest over hand. Three, two, one. Let's go. If you do that 30 seconds with us, Work off my clock. If you've got your own stopwatch, then you can time it yourself. Squeezing the glutes at all times. That, that helps keep the quads nice and tight. Back to nice and flat. And then that's solid. Solid work from Kaza. 15 seconds. Nice. No hit the floor, guys. If you're struggling, just drop onto the knees. Make sure you remain chest over hands so you're keeping that engagement. Five seconds there, four, three, two, one. Good rest, well done. That is two rounds for us. We're gonna start our third round. You've only got about 90 seconds left, okay? So eight double snatches, eight squat cleans, eight body weight man makers, and then you're gonna go into that 30 second wall set, 30 second plank. Three, two, one, let's go. 90 seconds, go. Guys, if you've done your three rounds, make sure every round you do your wall sit and plank, and then remainder of time, you can either do fast burpees or you can do a wall sit on a plank. We'll give you a little bit of flexibility with that finisher. Good stuff. Right guys, you've got 60 seconds and that's block two done. Remember, there's only one more block after this and there's no finisher. So it's not as bad as what, it, <laughs> as what Karen makes it out to be. It's only a workout, guys. It's a workout. It's 4% of your day. It's not going to kill you. It's going to make you physically and mentally in a better shape before you start it to when you finish. Hey, guys? Yes, sir. Elbow to quad down, drive up. Well done. That is eight squat cleans. Carry up to the chest, down. We've got 20 seconds remaining, guys. Let's maintain the form. Elbow to quad and then back in. Oh. Well done, Kaz. Let's go. Get them body weight man makers in. Let's go. <coughs> right shoulder, left shoulder, jump in. Up your nose. We've got five seconds. We've got one more. If you guys have finished, we'll sit plank. Three, two, one. Well done. Good. Block two done. This is your final block in the Metcon class. Nine minutes of work now, guys. Similar setup as block one, so you're going to buy in, okay, we're going to do 100 star jumps to buy in, we've got option one, option two. Beginners, you can just go for normal star jumps, make sure you don't hire wide on those ones, 100 reps, and then intermediate, you can go for explosive. I'll let you guys choose. Once you've done your 100 star jumps, on the floor you have three movements, you're going to go for 10 reps on each one and three rounds. So with the kettlebell, we've got American swings, which we can either do by a normal kettlebell swing, so approach it from there, swing, and then thrust up to the shoulders. You can go for 10 normal swings or 10 Americans, depending on which way you've got. Second move, you've got this alternating cleans, just up to the shoulders. Make sure you go down to the floor each rep. Up to the shoulders, elbows in, five right, five left. Then the last one, at the chest, is kettlebell thrusters. Hold it tight in the chest, elbows and quad, all in one movement. You're gonna go down against the gravity and then drive up. Press, back in, perfect, good. 
So they're your three movements. When you've done three rounds of 10, then you're gonna to go to your buyout, which is 200 star jumps. You might not get 200 done, you might finish. If you finish in under nine minutes, remainder of time is max reps on the star jumps, okay? We have 100 to start. Okay, beginners, you might wanna go for four sets of 25 or two sets of 50. Three, two, one, 100 star jumps, go. You know, it's a big number, but I don't expect you to do 100 in one hit. Beginners, normal star jumps, intermediate, you can go for those explosive ones, yeah? 100 reps, guys. It's not too bad, it could be worse, you could be doing 100 burpees. Unrealistic. So we're going to have four sets of 25, guys, it's realistic. Let's go. When you've done your 100 star jumps, you're going to get your kit and go straight into your three rounds of 10 with a kettlebell. It is your first movement is kettlebell swings, 10 reps. Second, alternating cleans, five right, five left, and then you've got 10 kettlebell thrusters. Three rounds of that, then 200 star jumps, well done. If you finish under nine minutes, remainder of time, just max out the star jumps, comment on the post, let me know how many reps you've done. So it'll be 200 plus, you might get 30 done, you might get 20 done, depending. Carries on a third set. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Kata. Nice. High and wide, 100 star jumps. 75? Yeah. 75 for Kaza. Oh. Guys, once you've done your 100, straight into the floor work. Let's go. No excuses. 10 swings, 10 cleans, 10 thrusters. Three rounds of that, and then you go back to the buyout, 200 star jumps. If you're really struggling, you can't jump, you can give it a step. You know, a little bit like an aerobic class. Yes, Kaza, yes. Okay, 96% of our maximum. We're pushing <laughs> through. We're going to go 100, well done. We're going straight to the kettlebells, yeah? yeah? 10 swings, guys. We're going to go for normal swings today. If you want to go for American swings, you're going to go from the bottom to the top, all in one movement, pushing the head through the shoulders, biceps in. 10 kettlebell swings. Have a loose grip at the, turn it upside down at the top slightly. Just turn the wrists. Not too much, but just turn it slightly so you, the, the kettlebell faces the chest when you're flipping it up. Squeezing the glutes, driving the heels to floor. 10 of those, that's eight, nine, one more. And then go straight into alternating clean, five right, five left. So directly underneath it, sink the hips, elbows in, and then come back up, and then reset. Five on the right side, five on the left side. Make sure you get the elbows nice and tight. Kettlebell goes to the floor every rep, so reset there. Five right, five left, and then our last one is our kettlebell thrusters. Elbow to the quad, down, drive up, pause at the top, and then go straight back in. Nice. Remember, it's three rounds on the floor, guys. Final set. Okay, let's just give it as much energy as you can. Into thrusters, guys. Let's go. Try and rest after each round, guys. Try not to rest after each move. It's too much rest. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Ten thrusters. <coughs> rest after these ten. Let's go. Guys, you've got to pick and choose when you're resting. Don't just rest when you get tired. If I was doing this workout, I'd do my buy-in. I'd do my one set, rest. Second set, rest. Third set, rest. And then I'll try and smash my buy-out. Remember, it's your final set, yeah? You can always give a bit more when you know it's your final set. Unless I make Karen a little finisher. Ooh, hey. I mean, Jay and Keza, you look at the movement session after. Oh, I've got two more <laughs> Two more thrusters for Kaz. Guys, you guys can push forward now, yeah? Don't let our tempo be your excuse. You guys got the programming. It's 10, okay? 10 swings. 10 cleans, 10 thrusters, three rounds, and you're back to that buyout, 200 star jumps, intermediate, explosive star jumps, that's gonna get you gassy, gonna get you blowing. Let's go. 
Guys, we've got about four and a half minutes. Let's go. Nice. Just try to flip that. Just turn that curl, bow, baby. Turn that curl, bow. Yes, not too much. No pause at all. Not statue. Nice. <laughs> A little bit less bend on the elbows, Karen. Less bend, less bend, less bend. Just a little flip at the top. Just turn it. Oh. Yeah, we need to work on that one. <laughs> Don't bend the elbows too much, Karen. Just slide and back in. So a little bit of a swing. Just flip the kettlebell, Kaz. Slightly. Just controlling it. Slap on the elbows and then back in. Then you go into those cleans. So we sink the hips. Arm comes out in front of you. Bend the knees. Elbows in. Five on the right side, five on the left side. Elbows in. Get that kettlebell nice and close to the body. The further the kettlebell goes away from the body, the less control you have on that, okay? Elbows in nice and tight. Nice. Five and five. Once you've done that, you're into your 10 kettlebell thrusters. We want to try and finish our three rounds, Kaz. Let's go, come on. A bit more tempo. Guys at home, well done. Stay with us. Let's go. Three rounds on the floor with the kettlebells. Always 10 reps. Three movements. Three rounds of 10. And then you get 200 star jumps to buy out. Either beginners, you go normal star jumps, intermediate, explosive. Elbow to quad. Yes, Kaz. Good. Down, drive up, press. Good reps, good reps. Well done. Up. Good work, good work. How many more? Two. Two more. Last one. <coughs> nice, Kaza. Oh. Well done. That's two rounds for us. We've got one more round. We need to go straight in now. Let's inject the tempo, Kaz. Oh. <laughs> so 10 kettlebell swings. 10 alternating cleans, followed by 10 kettlebell thrusters. When you've done three rounds, start your star jumps, comment on the post, let us know how many reps you've done. So it might be 212, it might be 16, it might be 44, whatever you get, let's go. Two minutes left. Nice, Kazza, just flip the wrist slightly. Yeah, that's good. Nice wide feet on the kettlebell, squeeze the arse or the glutes at the top of the movement. Control the kettlebell through the legs, thrust it up, using the hips as much as possible. Coming from that hinge joint there, yeah? All comes from the core. Straight into cleans, let's go. Elbows in. Karen's lucky enough to have two, two kettlebell weight options. If you only have one, then you can just stick with your one. We might want to go double-handed, or we might want to do less reps. Whatever works for you. The miss your workout at home, not our workout. Get that elbow nice and tight, Kaz. Yeah, good work. Elbows in. Good, up to the shoulders. Well done. Five. Five right, five left, and then in ten thrusters. Let's go. If you guys have finished your three rounds of ten, start your star jumps. Let's go. These Metcon classes are very gassy, yeah? You buy in, you buy out, you've got your floor work, you know, your four, three rounds, whatever you're doing, then you've got that beast workout in the middle. Let's get it done, guys. Elbow to quad. Press. Nice. Go on, let's get that. Come on, get 10 minutes ahead. At least get three star jumps. <laughs> 30 seconds left, guys. Well done. Go last bit, last bit. Keep that kettlebell tight to the chest. I don't want to see it leaving the chest, Karen. It stays tight to the body. The closer the kettlebell is to the body, the more control. Then you can just drive down, drive back up. Press. 10 thrusters into those star jumps. If you're doing star jumps at home, well done. Keep going. Beginners, normal star jumps, intermediate. You've got explosive. Go, Kat. Ten oh. seconds. Go. Nice. Three, two, one. Oh. Guys, with the buy in and the buy out, the objective is not to not to finish the buy out. Okay, it's not realistic, but that is your target. So everyone can do these workouts. It's brilliant. You know, beginners can still be doing the floor work. Intermediate can still be doing the buy out. So you just work to your own speed. Well done. So that is your Metcon class. Hope you enjoyed that one. Uh, that's a killer workout. So make sure that you're.
get your workouts done, no excuses, like that on there. Karen didn't want to do that workout at the start, but how do you feel now? Oh, yeah. <laughs> So, Fantastic! There you go. My my zone of stats don't lie. Good workout, guys. Have a good week. Keep doing what you're doing. Peace out. JJK TV.